Why do we feel behind in life? By the end of this video, you'll realize that you're not behind, but early in the process. To prove that, let's first check this study, which shows something really interesting. Our life expectancy has almost doubled in the last two centuries. As you can see in 1900s, the average human lifespan was between 30 and 40 years. And in 2021, it reached nearly 80. This clearly shows that we do not have to rush and achieve everything by 30. I recently turned 30 and it took me a while to really understand that. My 20s have been really interesting and uncertain and I made some big decisions in my 20s that made me feel that I was behind in life. When I was 24, I decided to move to Canada and I left my job, my business, I had a dance school in India. I left all of that, moved to Canada because I wanted to do something bigger, something better. But from 24 to 27, I felt like I did not have any identity. I felt lost because here I was nobody. I was working at restaurants. I was doing all those toxic jobs, even though those jobs helped me to be where I am today, but that was not a good environment. When I was 28, I was feeling behind in life. I felt I needed to do something more. I cannot just do this nine to five and especially work in a restaurant for my whole life. So I saved up money. I quit my job and decided to focus on my business, but that only lasted for eight months. And I had to go back and find a new job. And that was devastating and I felt like a failure. I felt like I am not enough. I will never be able to make it and I will be stuck in this cycle. So I went back, found a new job, worked there for two years, saved up more money while building my business and last year I finally quit. So still I am very new in this process of entrepreneurship of having my own business so I still a lot of the time I feel that I'm behind in life but I've been doing a lot of work and there are a few things that I've been reflecting more and more and especially when I turned 30 that was for me in a way an alarm that was telling me that you need to rush because people around me were doing more things they were moving to the next stage in their life they were getting married they were finding better jobs, they were making money, they were buying their houses, they were buying new cars. And here, I was only doing the bare minimum. At least that's what I thought. And if you're feeling the same way and you're on a similar journey, the first thing that I want you to reflect on is the comparison. I want you to stop comparing your life with your friends, with the people you grew up with, because your path is different. You have to reflect on the things that you are doing. Maybe the things that you're doing, the career you are going towards is so different that nobody in your family has done this before. So if this is a new path, this is a unique path because it's your path, there's no comparison. You can only compare your path with someone Let's say if your friend is also on a similar path, if they're chasing the same thing and you don't have to achieve everything by 30 or even 40, life is long. As we have seen the graph that we have been living longer, so which means we have more time. That get settled by 30 is so old. This is old school. So let go of that mentality because this is what I've been doing. And I've been feeling free. I also reflected on my past as well. I made some decisions that led me to where I am today. But sometimes we do have some guilt, some regret that why did I make this decision? I a lot of the time question myself that why did you leave that life in India? Why did you come here? Why did you start this new life? Things were going fine. But I know Deep down I know that this is where I belong. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is the path I had to go on. 
I had to break that personality, that old identity, and go through this rebirth. Past is always rose-colored, but there were issues, there were problems, there were challenges. I needed to support my family, and I felt I couldn't do it when I was in India. That's also one of the, maybe the biggest reasons that I moved to Canada. Not for me, for my family. And at that time, I did not have that kind of awareness. I was just making decisions. So if you have taken any decision in the past that you regret, and you feel that just because of that decision you are behind, if you could have done that, if you should have gone for something different, you would have been in a better place. But that's all in your head. This is the story that you're telling yourself. If you would share your story with me, I might see it from a different way. So change your story. Turn your challenges into opportunities. There's a meditation that I first created for myself to let go and when I knew that I needed to release a lot of things and uh, I'll put the link here or in the description. Make sure you do that meditation because that will help you to release a lot of that guilt, that anger, that frustration and all those emotions that are not really serving you. Even if you're in the beginning phase of your rebirth journey, I just want to say that you will feel successful you will feel that this is the right path for you. Because now I start to feel that I am successful. Because my goals were different from other people. I did not want to have a house by 30. For me, my priority was having freedom. And I do have freedom. I am full-time in my business. I decide my own hours when I want to work. And I can take a day off, I can take a week off, I can travel the world and still get paid. That, that is the life that I wanted to live and I was able to create that. And for me, I'm winning, I'm successful, I'm not behind in life, I am making big moves, I am helping my family. I am trying to create my best life and I'm trying to do all the things that I always wanted to do. If this isn't success, then what is? Yes, it's good to have goals, it's good to have visions and I do have that big vision and I am slowly moving forward towards that vision. But I'm doing everything that I wanted to do three, four years ago. So. Instead of looking in the future that what you haven't achieved yet, look in the past what you have achieved already. You are not behind, my friend. You are on a different path. You're in a different reality. So there's no comparison with other people. There's no right time because the reality you are in, there is no time. Because time is an illusion that is created by humans, right? It's a man-made thing. So don't focus on the time, focus on your growth. Focus on the life you want to live. When you are focused on that, when you make sure that you are present, you are mindful, you are in the moment, you are having fun, that is the biggest win. You will know when you will win because people around you will be celebrating you and I will be celebrating you with you. If you have fallen behind in life, what helped you to come out of that negative loop? I love learning from other people's experiences and I think everyone's experience is unique and we all can learn from each other. Also, please hit that like button because this really helps these videos to reach more people on YouTube. You can check these videos to learn more.